Hey guys, welcome to the Call of Duty World War 2 review. PS4 version obviously. Um, let's start. So, to me personally, this has been the first Call of Duty game that I have purchased on release since Black Ops 2. And the second Call of Duty game I have bought since Black Ops 2, uh, I bought Black Ops 3 on sale several months after the release. And I played that for a month about. So, as you can see from this, I'm not a big fan of how the series started to go ever since Black Ops 2. And I was kind of like, um, I wouldn't say excited. Excited is not the right word to say. I was... Uh, I don't know what is the right word here, um, not hopeful either, but open, let's put it this way, I was open to give Call of Duty a chance with the War World 2. Now, and when it comes to shooters, one of my favorite shooters of all time is the original Call of Duty, and, and I mean the very first one. And then uh, Medal of Honor Allied Assault, which both started kind of similar from Normandy and um, that that was great it's, it's kind of you know shame that the Normandy part here is very short uh, but let's start you know the actual review from here so obviously I'm talking now about the campaign the campaign aspects of this game as it started I was kind of liking it you know there was nothing that I disliked really other than the fast time, you know, the quick time events. The quick time events, I believe, they should not be in a shooter. You know, a shooter does not need quick time events. So, that is basically, I would say, the only negative I found. Other than that, there was one uh, game breaking bug or, you know, glitch, whatever. I got stuck somewhere and I couldn't move, couldn't jump, couldn't like get out so but uh, that got fixed by basically um, restarting the last checkpoint so other than that and the quick time events I had no problem with the campaign and uh, as the campaign went forward I really liked the storytelling and uh, it wasn't like the best ever but it was very solid and um, one of the best when it comes to you know World War 2 or Basically, you could say even uh, any shooters, you know, when it comes to their campaigns. It was one of the best campaigns of all time. Depends kind of what you like. But I liked it. It was uh, very vast. It wasn't short. I heard it was only like four to five hours. And I'm not quite sure how many hours it took me to finish it. I think about five maybe. But uh, it depends what happens in there. You know, that how you spend that about, you know five to six hours whatever it takes and um, I have to say I actually enjoyed every every mission you know every mission was kind of different and um, there wasn't really a lot of repetitive stuff so the campaign all in all it was just marvelous I really I have to you know tip my hat to them because I haven't really cared about the Call of Duty campaigns uh, probably the last one I really cared about was Modern Warfare 2 you know that's that's the one I still cared about but but also there's the fact that you can't really you know be expected to care about just some new characters that have no depth and there is no you know character development uh, within the storyline but here they actually managed to really in a simple way, you know, bring a lot of different characteristics, uh, different kind of people together in the platoon, and uh, as you go with your own, you know, team, and uh, you guys, you know, you lose some people, you you almost lose some people, and there's a lot of emotions, and at that point, it is very important that do you care, you know, about what is happening. And uh, I think that the game did a great job of making me care about the characters. The only character that I really didn't care all that much was the main character, which is kind of 
ironic because you know I guess that's the one they're trying to make you care most about but uh, yeah on a personal level I really did not care all that much about the you know the main character but all the other characters I think they had extreme amount of depth within the time that they were given and I think they were given plenty of time to you know show that depth and uh, the voice actors did a great job and the graphics were great I'm using a PS4 Pro and a 65 inch uh, UHD 4K TV so with HDR it was a very nice looking game on the single player but uh, for some reason that doesn't carry over to the multiplayer I don't know why but the multiplayer just looks it, it doesn't look as smooth as a single player when it comes to graphics uh, however the single player campaign had also plenty of you know different approaches in each mission like in some missions you would need to go stealth some missions you can use a tank uh, in one mission you can fly a plane and objectives are always you know changing depending on the mission and I really like that so it, like I already mentioned before there wasn't a lot of repetitive stuff and uh, it always just kind of felt fresh you know each mission felt fresh interesting got you in it got you to care about the mission got you to care about the guys who are fighting alongside you that you try to protect them so the single player all in all I would probably give a nine and a half out of ten but as much as I would like to give I mean the story part of the single player you know campaign I would give that a ten I think the storytelling was very smooth and um, all in all I don't know if it was perfect but it was near perfection but it's just I cannot accept a 10 to a single player campaign that uh, you know uses in almost every mission quick time events like that just is unnecessary and you're ruining it. you know you're ruining something great by doing that you know you're you're ruining something that should not be ruined by extra stuff like why do we need quick time events in a shooter campaign there is no need for it you can set those quick time events in any other way like slow time and you know and, and they do that there are those sections where time gets slowed and you have to react fast but then why do we have to add quick time events it's just mind-boggling like why would you ruin near perfection with that 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 is something I don't get but anyway so single player part awesome let's go past the single player I would give the single player like I said the single player campaign nine and a half so far we're off to a good start now let's go to the multiplayer the first thing I realized is that you have to kind of adjust like if you have not apparently been playing Destiny and the latest Call of Duties you have no idea what is going on like I had no idea what what uh, was this even Call of Duty anymore like I was totally lost because there is some kind of you know Destiny kind of thing where uh, kind of like a you know how MMOs have like you have this area where all the players can hang out and that felt really odd it felt unnecessary and um, I, I was not I wouldn't say a big fan of that I was not a fan of that in any way I think that was absolutely unnecessary you know you can't just say that you're bringing Call of Duty back to its roots but then that only means the settings you know so we're going to World War 2 and that's enough no I mean what the fuck you just changed everything that's that's even like that's giving me less of a feeling that I'm playing a Call of Duty multiplayer than any game before I've played even Black Ops 3 that felt a hell lot more like a Call of Duty you know multiplayer than this I, I want I want it to be simple and fun and now it feels like the whole hub area is a clusterfuck and and like the options you have and 
all that it just it, it's like it's like someone just tossed a salad and I do know what tossing a salad means and if you don't know what is tossing a salad please Google toss a salad okay it feels like someone just tossed a salad and was like yep this is it this is the multiplayer we're gonna do it like this we're gonna just mix everything and um, bring a bunch of new shit that uh, nobody asked for but you know we're innovating and all you know so a lot of the destiny players will feel at home here but why I don't I don't get it is it just I'm getting too old for this series or what is the problem because I played Call of Duty since the first one and till Black Ops 2 then I played Black Ops 3 and now I played this and the multiplayer in this feels the furthest away from any Call of Duty ever sure we don't have the futuristic uh, exo skeleton you know halo jumping stuff whatever wall running and all of that stuff but the soul you know within the multiplayer it just feels different man I mean don't get me wrong you play uh, team deathmatch or search and destroy whatever that that feels more like the old Call of Duty is like uh, since Call of Duty 4 you know the golden era it, it, it does feel more like that because there is no wall climbing or running or whatever they used to do you know uh, jetpack stuff uh, the weapons aren't some crazy futuristic stuff sure okay that part feels more natural but other than that there's just in the selection so so much confusion going on like I feel that I need to be 15 to 20 year old to understand it because I guess if you're about 30 or over you're too old for this shit by now that you have no idea what's going on and uh, like last year with Battlefield 1 it felt kind of out of place compared to Battlefield 4 but nevertheless I was able to get into that because they hadn't changed that much you know the stuff but here it just feels like you know the multiplayer in some ways it feels more natural and in many ways it feels less natural than before and then let's add the fact that the servers are down like about I don't know at least half of the day each day on the weekend I couldn't get on probably eight or nine out of ten times that I tried the servers are just down you would think that Activision has enough money to you know run servers I'm pretty sure that they have and I keep hearing the same stuff from people well you know this is normal this is normal for Call of Duty on launch no it's not and not not as far as I remember like how many years has this become a norm that people are just used to it well you know servers are down yeah it's been like this for a few years well why you guys are all still buying the game Activision has shit lot of money so what is the problem here I don't know anyway um, yeah the multiplayer also one of the things I had a problem with was that there were only four hardcore modes and that is just way too little the maps kind of felt too much like each other there wasn't that much difference between them it's just one is in snow one is in you know a village whatever at summer autumn whatever but it, it's just the maps don't feel enough different and um, that's another problem I had but uh, let's dive into the zombies real fast the zombies is not the old zombies which I love it's the one that was since at least Black Ops 3 that you have to know all these weird things that you can't know you know you have to go like Google what you have to do to get forward in the zombies See, I like, I like the zombies in the way that there's just waves, that it's just survival. And um, you don't have to cater me and make the zombies exactly like I like it. But you should at least make it so that there would be an old way to play it and a new way to play it. And I don't know if I just screwed up or what, but it seems like there's just a new way to play it. And um, the zombies also, I don't know, the zombies was alright. I have less things to complain about the zombies 
uh, I could get used to this eventually so right as I was saying um, you can you could ask other players or you could Google and eventually you would get used to it you know so the zombies isn't terrible the multiplayer I would give probably a 5 out of 10 and the zombies a 7 out of 10 so we got single player campaign 9.5 out of 10 multiplayer I would give a four and a half five out of ten and the zombies about seven out of ten so that brings us all in all plus get used to seeing this at least you know until they get this server thing fixed anyway with the few bugs and uh, glitches and the server errors added to top I will give Call of Duty World War 2 a so 7.4 out of 10 from me that's it if the servers would work properly and the multiplayer wouldn't be so odd and shitty and the zombies would have more options I would probably give it eight and a half or something like this but here it is my review hope you guys enjoyed it if you have comments let me know anyway have a nice day bye